hey, Ross World, my money makes money. Investment, diversification, portfolio. Investment, diversification, portfolio. I've talked in a video way back about how people during the 2008 recession, how some people made money, some people stayed kind of neutral, and of course, a lot of people lost a lot of money. So it's about diversification when those people has, and also the investment management companies those guys has. Now, if you're investing, you ever heard the word asset classes? Now, Wealthfront, and this is not really a big video on Wealthfront, even though I have their link in the description, as well as my share code for you to receive $5,000. But nevertheless, they have 11 asset classes. What is that really? What is that really? What it is, diversification at its best. Diversification. Now, I wrote down some notes here. Excuse me as I look down. I really need to read this to you guys. That's diversification at its best. Now, excuse me as I look down. I have some quick notes I would like to go over. Diversify across markets, countries, and currencies around the world. It helps you not lose money and it lowers your risk. So it helps you not to lose money and it lowers your risk. Index funds, index funds, ETFs, including US stocks, foreign stocks, emerging market stocks, bonds, and real estate. Individual investors can diversify by owning low cost index funds that invest in six important asset classes. Six, Wellfront has 11. But nevertheless, I think that's that magic number that these financial guys are really talking about. Six, and what are they? U.S. stocks, international stocks, emerging market stocks, real estate investment trusts, long-term U.S. treasuries, and treasury inflation protected securities, those tips we talked about. So understand diversification in these asset classes helps you to lower your risk and still make money while the market is doing horribly. Did you know that some people actually made money at a 5% rate during 2008, 2009, until the market started to go back up in 2010? They were still making 5%. Now, 4% is conservative, 5%. Now you're getting into that neutral category that you're making really great money. So it amazes me that people don't really talk about these asset classes and how to diversify your portfolios and make sure that, hey, is your investment company doing the same thing? Because you can actually, if you're with Wellfront, if you're with Betterment, if you're with Acorns, if you're with Stash, these are kind of like your investment companies. Now, some of them, you don't have too much playroom, but let's say, for instance, Wellfront. You have your intensity one, right? One through 10. You can increase or decrease your intensity of how aggressively, of how aggressively you want to invest. And while you do that, guess what they do? The more conservative you are, they start putting that money into U.S. stocks and bonds, okay? They kind of get out of the foreign ones and emerging markets because they're a little more risky, but you make great money. Take, for instance, Betterment. If any of you guys are with Betterment, I'll have that link in the description as well. They kind of do that mixture of stocks and bonds. Now, the more conservative you are, that number goes up, right, with the bonds because it's securing your money. Bonds is a very safe bet. The volatility of it is not as high stocks. That means you're not going to make as much money. But in a bear market, and when people say bear market, that means that the stock market has consistently been going down percentage is percentage, and we may be going into a recession or even a depression. But people are still making money dealing with these asset classes and how they allocate it with the intensity, especially with these new investment apps, Betterment, Wellfront, and even Acorns. Because you're going to Acorns, right? You have that, don't quote me, they have moderate, conservative, moderately aggressive, and all those things. You're telling them, hey, if you really want to go aggressive, they say, if this works out on your behalf, not in those exact words, you're going to receive this amount of money because you're aggressively investing into these markets. That's all about asset classes, guys. So this is not a video about Wellfront. This is not a video about Betterment or Acorns or any of the above. This is a video for you to understand that asset classes help you to lower your risks Increase your profit or maintain during weary times in the stock market. Because a lot of people, a lot of people that I grew up with, they didn't want to invest. They were scared. All these people lost their money during 1920 or 1919. 
and now in 2008. That's the only thing you hear. Oh, I'm not putting my money in that stock market. People are losing money. People were still making money. People were still making money because maybe a company like, like Vanguard helped their clients to diversify their portfolios and make money. And I don't know the company that Peter Marlock, he's a huge investment guy, but whatever his company is, his people who follow his advice made money at that 5% rate I'm talking about. So this is all legitimate information. So don't be weary. Be smart. Do your research. Like I always say, do your research. Be smart. Now, as you can see that the market, and the great thing about some of these, they automatically balance. That means if these investors are as smart as I think they are, half of what I think they are, when they start seeing the trend of the stock market percentages declining on all fronts, on all fronts, what, what am I talking about? We're talking about individual stocks, index stocks, and ETF stocks. If they're declining at a certain percentage constantly, that is a sign of a bear market. We're talking about when the market crashes, bear market, those tall tail signs of the market crashing. So be aware that these asset classes help you to diversify and maintain the wealth that you have and also the opportunity still to make some money. And believe it or not, a great thing about a bear market or the market has crashed is that stocks that you could never, ever afford are dirt cheap. Now, I told this story before. I'm going to tell it one more time because I'm still kicking myself in the ass. During 2008, 2009, I bought Citigroup. I bought over two or 300 shares, if I can remember correctly. I bought Citigroup at $4, at $4 a share. Then the next couple of days, they continue to drop. I want to say they dropped down to maybe two or buck or so. And my buddy said, hey, man, don't sell your stock. The federal government is not going to put money into an institution and let it fail. I didn't really know what he was talking about. No, they're like, man, I bought all these damn stocks. Then they were for a dollar, two dollars. I sold them. Look at the Citigroup stock today, guys. Um, I haven't looked at it recently because every time I look at it, it burns me up. Okay, something hot. It burns me up. Because uh, I think the last time I looked at a Citigroup per stock was worth $60. So if you do 60 times 300 and then you minus the $4 I paid for those 300, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's where I'm at right now. So this is Ross World where... Um, I'm kicking myself in the ass for selling some great stocks during the bear market while everybody was running for their lives. Bill Gates, Warren Buffett was buying up all the stocks and even becoming more filthier rich because they did not understand. Not Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, those people, because those people didn't understand diversification, asset classifications, and what those things entail and how to really move your money in the right direction. And thirdly, having a company that knows what the hell they're doing. Because don't blame the company because you put your money somewhere and you wasn't smart enough to move it. If they say they don't auto rebalance, then they don't auto rebalance. You're gonna have to go and balance that shit yourself, okay? So understand the information you're receiving here so you can be better informed to make money even though a bear market even during a stock market crash. So this is Ross World. We are now informed diversification and asset management and classification. I'm out.